Hi, I'm Jeremy Pollock. I'm a social organizational psychologist with a specialty in peace and conflict psychology, RISC. R-I-S-C, that stands for Respect, Identity, Safety, and Control. We're looking through the framework of risk, of which of these needs are being satisfied or not satisfied on average across the employee population. One of the number one areas that creates a lot of conflict is role clarity. When people are not clear about what they're supposed to be doing, if they don't have clear job descriptions, and if they're not clear about where their lane ends and begins, and if other people are like crossing into their lanes and taking responsibility for things they thought they should be responsible for, or vice versa, this creates a lot of conflict. Transparency is also really important. So people understanding, you know, how did this decision come to be? What led you to this fork in the road where you had to make a decision like this? What led to this change? What perspectives or opinions were involved in your decision-making process? So I would highly recommend that leaders are trained. If you're gonna manage people, that you're actually trained in some sort of leadership style. You could practice servant leadership, you could practice transformational leadership, or you could practice what we teach, peaceful leadership, which takes elements of both and adds our own conflict management lens through it. So if you don't have a clear conflict protocol, I would highly recommend you start to think about one. You can read books or watch videos on conflict management systems design. You can also hire experts to come in and help you design a conflict management system. But any way you approach it, you wanna make sure that you have some clear protocol for addressing conflict when it arises.